Ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be checking out Pokemon Jewel, which is a new game that has literally just come out a few hours ago on iOS and Android, and this is legit Pokemon, guys. So it's not one of those shoddy knockoffs, because we've seen uh, so many of those uh, since the kind of overwhelming success of Pokemon Go in the summer. This is legit, guys. This is official source Pokemon material right here. And this is extremely different to Pokemon Go, so it seems like a very strategy-based game. You get a, a team of six figurines, and you have to battle um, with another team of six figurines. And it seems like there are ways that you can customize your figurines. So it seems very much kind of like the Pokemon trading card game mixed in with a mobile game. It's really hard to tell. I've only seen a gameplay trailer. I don't know too much about it at the moment. But hey, that's why we're here today for a first impressions video. And one of the first impressions is I can't get any audio off this game. I've tried to uh, get some sound. So we'll add something in after, guys. But uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any working audio at the moment. Or I need to play around with it and get past the tutorial. However, let's power on with the first impressions. So uh, let's uh, let's kind of read what's going on here. The six points closest to you are your bench. All the figures in your deck are lined up there. Okay, so we, what do we have? We have a Bulbasaur, Charizard. Do we have two Pikachus there? And an Eevee and a Squirtle. So we got a, a pretty sweet lineup there. Let's take a look at one of your figurines. So which one do we want to have a look at? So let's have a look at the Eevee. So tap a figure to see its status and the number of spaces it can move. So Eevee, I assume, can move three spaces. It's a little, little hard to tell. And her status is minus MP1, which doesn't really mean to anything to me at the moment. Okay, now it's time to make a move. Place a figure on any an entry point to bring it onto the field. Okay, so let's place, place Eevee there, I take it. Its MP indicates the number of points it can move. Uh, but for the first move, MP is reduced by 1. Oh, okay, that's probably what the minus 1 MP is. First, it's your turn. Let's move a figurine. Okay, let's move Eevee over there then. Okay, let's uh, go right-hand side. Why not? So once you've moved your figure, that's the end of your turn. Now it's my turn. Okay, go for it, Luca. Oh, dude, that was a pretty sick move, man. You're, getting, you're advancing on me quite quickly. Well, I don't know if that was a sick move. Should we go to the Vault Orb? Is that a good idea? Yeah, why not? Let's move up there, guys. Let's see what happens. So your figure can't move onto or past an oppo a point occupied by an opponent figure, not unless you knock them out of the way first, and the only way to do that is by battle. Okay, this is what we want to see, guys, the battle stuff. What happens here? Oh, this is pretty cool. So de battles are decided by which attack you spin on the wheel, stop the wheel, and use an attack. Right, okay, this is uh, this is pretty cool. I mean, there's there's no way to accurately stop this. So we'll just use Tackle. That worked in our favor, though. I mean, Eevee just absolutely wrecked um, that. Is that Voltorb, right? Is that Voltorb, or is that the evolution of that guy? Oh, gosh. Guys, my Pokemon knowledge is all suddenly faded. While it's there, it can't be used. Same goes for any figure in the Pokemon Center. Okay, so it's very much like the uh, kind of standard trainer battles, I guess. Once uh, a character is knocked out, then you can't use it until, uh, what, well, for the rest of the match. Okay, let's put the Bulbasaur there. And I think the goal is to get to their, uh, their flag over there. Right. Okay, so he put down a Lapras, and we got a Bulbasaur. So that's going to be a great matchup then. I imagine we're going to get an advantage then if we land on some sort of grass move. Okay, so let's move toward, um, do we want to move, th it's telling me to move there. Okay, let's, let's go for that. This is called a surrounding. If you surround an opponent figure on all sides, you automatically beat them without even battling. Wow, that seems pretty OP. Not too bad though, not too bad. So there, there's a lot of tactic, tactics in terms of placement and stuff. Similar to, is elements of chess in here as well? Well, I guess there is in terms of, um... What is it? Uh, figure positioning. Okay, so why not use Meadow Power? So what does this do? Grass-type Pokemon deal plus 20 damage. This effect lasts until one of your opponent's Pokemon is knocked out by a Grass-type Pokemon. Uh, your turn ends. Okay, let's let's go for that. So that's going to jack up my, um, my Bulbasaur by quite a bit. So we're going to go into battle then. And let's stop that. So we've got Vine Whip. So that's going to deal bonus damage. Mm, not too bad. Not too bad. Okay, can we move to the finish line now? Once three Pokemon are sent to the Pokemon Center, the first one there returns to the bench. Oh, do they keep on cycling out then? Okay, that's interesting. But any figure rejoining the bench enters weight, status first. Uh, that means it can't be used for one turn. Okay, okay. So it's, it's excluded for one turn after it enters again. So can I move to this and win the game, right? 
Hey, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. I like, I really like the idea of the collection element of this game, and figurine customization is something that I'm, uh, I'm curious about. I'm very curious about. Okay, so we won that. Are we gonna get, like, a pack of figurines? Hopefully we do, guys. We love those sweet, sweet pack openings. Okay, after a duel, your rating will change based on whether you won or lost, as well as your opponent's strength. You won this time. Guys, we won the tutorial, man. We're so good at this game. 15 rating. Not too bad, boys. Not too bad. And it seems to have a, a similar clash, uh, similar chess system to uh, Clash Royale there. Right, with time boosters, yeah, pay, get gems, unlock your rewards faster. Okay, list of available items. Ooh, so they're kind of like card packs, right? Yeah, they pretty much are card packs. So the really good ones are the Charizard, the Venusaur. Uh, there's different rarities there. Interesting, interesting. Wouldn't mind, uh, yeah, if we get an X one out of our first pack, that'd be pretty good. I feel like it's probably going to be rigged, our first pack, but we'll see. See what we get, guys. Let's see what we get out of this three second pack. They're probably usually going to be a few hours, but three seconds, we'll enjoy it while we can. Oh, we got a Pikachu. I, I, I imagine probably everybody gets the Pikachu. They're like, ah, oh, we want people to play this game. Everybody loves a Pikachu. We'll chuck one their way. Okay, oh, that figure looks strong. Let's put it in your deck. Okay, let's go for that. Okay, Dex. Damn, this seems very interesting. Very, very similar interface and model to uh, Clash Royale by the look of it. But, you know, extremely different in terms of its gameplay. So if you want to change the figurines in your deck, you can do it with this button. So let's edit figurines here. Alright, so, oh my god, we got the Ratatats in our deck. Let's, uh, let's get rid of those. We definitely need to, uh, sub, sub those out. These are the figurines you have in your collection. Let's see the Pikachu that you just got into your deck. I think I know what Pikachu is going to be replacing. Is that Pidgey as well? Oh my gosh. Guys, we have such a great deck at the moment. Right, so Pikachu's there in place of Pidgey. And if you want to search for the figures with a specific MP score, the MP filter can be handy. Okay. If you want to use other filters, you can search using the display setting. You can only have three of the same Pokemon in your deck at the same time. Find out more about this rule in the help menu. Okay, interesting. Let's uh, let's try and get into another match. I really want to do a little bit more gameplay on this. Right. Well done on changing your deck. Oh, looks like you need. I can open up a locked booster. Oh, very nice. Let's get some more free rewards then. Okay, so let's open this up. See what we get. Come on, Charizard. That'd be pretty good. Okay, we got a rare metal. That was was that it? I guess a lot of XP to your Pokemon when used as a fusion ingredient. So you get to uh, get to level them up. Let's give it a try. I want to. Yeah, definitely. Um, what is it? Level up my Pikachu. He seems like my rarest Pokemon by far at the moment. So yeah, he's got so much XP. Right, the figure is set now. Let's chuck the big block on there as well. Can you evolve like the Squirtle and Charmander and stuff? I imagine that might be something in the game. Not 100% sure on that. Guys, there's so so many questions I have about this. Hopefully we can answer a couple of them before we end this video. But let's just keep on going. Right, so Pikachu is, is level 2 now. The figures used will also be absorbed, so watch out before you commit. Okay. Right, so... As you level up your figures, you can increase the size of their attacks and decrease the size of their misses. Interesting. Okay, so choose one of your attacks to increase, and I can't increase a miss. So it's very much, uh, it's a lot more random based, like the, uh, the game. Oh, I guess we want to increase Thunder, right? Thunder seems like the one to go. That is a, a lot of damage there, 100. Is that going to have much of an effect, though? Ah, well, we'll take that. Okay, actually, let me just play around with, um, okay, let's give a note for a second. Just see if, kind of, um... What is it? It's the same segment size added on each one. Yeah, so it doesn't. It's it does. It's not like even bigger for the 31. It's just the same little slice of pie for each one. So it seems like using it on your strongest move is probably the best option. Although I don't really know what Thunder Wave does at the, this point in time, but Thunder seems like a solid shout to go for. Okay, yeah, we'll go for that. Get a higher chance on that proking. 
Okay, we got a message. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what it has. World Championship. I don't think I'm quite ready for the World Championship. I mean, I've just completed the tutorial, but why not, guys? Let's get straight into it. You got to boost the ticket for playing. Let's go to the shop and exchange it. It's just all free stuff, guys. Pressing buttons, getting some free stuff. Right, where can we exchange it? Ah, this is the money screen. This is the shop. You can exchange figures and plates here. Let's exchange a booster right now. Boosters contain rare figures. So what will come out? So exciting. Let's see if this one's rigged. Right, exchange single. Oh, damn. We're going to get some legendary Pokemon, guys. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yep. Let's see if we get something good. And I see that you can buy a bit more of an expensive one to get a guaranteed legendary. Let's open this up, guys. Let's see what hype is inside. Oh, a Zangoose. Wow, guys. I was just saying that I wanted a Zangoose, and it came like that. I mean, it's not quite a Mewtwo, but I'll, I'll take a Zangoose, man. It will uh, be, be an upgrade on my Rattata. So let's go to um, let's go to my deck quickly. We want to swap them out. Set the figure you just earned in the same way as before. Uh, you can practice dueling techniques in the training center. If there's something you don't understand the rules, you can play. Look and help too. Okay. So let's go to our deck. Oh, we need to. Do we need to go here as well? Okay, it's saying we need to go here. If you want to see information about rankings, tap here. Your duel statistics can be seen from the record screen. If you want to duel against friends or people near you, use the room match option. If you want to watch other players' duels, head to the featured duel screen. If you want to play single player, head for quest. Settings in the library can be found in the menu. We sent you a present for playing today. What's the present? I want. Where is that? Where can I claim that? When you found your skills, let's have another duel. See you later. Okay, awesome. Where is the present? Is it on the right hand? Is it the right hand box? Or is it in my mail? I think it might be this login bonus. Okay, we got 15 gems. That's pretty good. So, information. Wow. Okay, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff going on today. Yeah, again, it's the first, first day of the game. That's pretty crazy, guys. I can't believe we're here on day one. Right, let's get the messages up as well. See what's happening in there. Right. Start dash. Oh, 100 gems. That ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Login bonus as well. We'll take those. And another 50 gems. Seems pretty decent so far. Guys, we certainly can't knock a big stack of free gems. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, just about another slot that you can unlock there, but we don't really need that at the moment. Right, let's quickly sort out our, our deck and rotate the, uh, the Rattata out. So we want to um, edit figures, right? Oh, can you... Yeah, you can evolve them by the look of it, right? Or... Okay, now that this deck is set, the Evolve button has appeared, selected now. Uh, yeah, let's, let's use that. Only certain figures can evolve. You cannot select an evolved uh, Pokemon that is already in the set, set in the same deck. Right, I'm not too sure what this is going to do to the character, but we'll see. So you've now set an evolution. You can uh, evolve your Pokemon in battle if you knock out or move an enemy Pokemon with it. It's quite interesting, actually. If it evolves, attacks with 10 or more damage gain plus 10 damage, and purple attacks gain plus 1 star. If you evolve a Pokemon, the uninvolved form will not gain experience for the duel. Okay, that's interesting. So, by killing a Pokemon with that other Pokemon, the like pre-evolution one, does it? It evolves them from what I can understand, but again, I may be completely wrong, guys. It's one of those things where we're going to have to kind of get in, uh, just see what happens. Uh, and then give it a go that way. Okay, let's go for that. So, we swap that one out. And that should be good, guys. Our teammate ain't looking too bad. Let's just put Rattata in there as well. And we didn't want to hit Fusion. Let's go back to the main menu. And we want to go for just another duel. Initially, this is a little bit a little bit too much to process when you just start playing the game. But I'm sure you know it's going to come, up, come to us quite naturally. Uh, after a few matches, guys. Okay, searching for a dual opponent, please wait. Okay, we found the dual opponent, guys. Let's go for this. 
Oh, Jordan's deck. He has a Weedow and a Psyduck. A Weedle and a Psyduck and a Machamp. Or Machop. It's Machop, right? Yeah, Machop is the uh, the first baseline evolution. It's a little bit rusty on my Pokemon, as you can tell. Right, let's put down... Um, who's, who's a good one to send out first, right? Maybe just the normal type Pokemon. Let's put him left there. See what he's doing. Who's he going with? Okay, he's going with a fighting type Pokemon. And let's go with Pikachu. Oh, we can't we can't enter actually if um what's our, our Pokemon's over there. Hopefully if he moves forward, we might be out the corner him actually. I'm not too sure on that. Right, let's uh let's give it a go anyway. So I have no idea what a good strategy is here, but we're gonna guess. We're gonna guess hopefully quite well. Let's go for this. Can we attack him? Right, are we going to win? This game of RNG. Let's stop. We dodged it. Okay. Was Did we, did we want that? I guess... I guess it's not too bad. <laughs> I guess that's probably quite a good move to have if you're kind of um, doing the... Uh, what is it? The kind of get behind them combo. To eradicate them immediately. Right, let's go with the, the Squirtle here. Move him to that one. I don't know if that was a good play or not. Right, who do we want to move here? Do you want to send him into combat? Yeah, let's send the Pikachu in. Why not? Let's see how we do here. Okay, so let's tap to stop. Thunder Shock. Oh, we got wrecked, guys. We got wrecked. Ten more damage than me. Right. Who's, who's a good counter for the... We don't really have a great counter at the moment, do we, actually? I think probably the um, the Bulbasaur is our best option versus the Pikachu. And we can't corner. Damn, he's backing us, um, backing us up here. Seems to be quite a good tactic to get a lot of your Pokemon on the board. Just in places where you can't get cornered, and then uh, just... What is it? Yeah, cornered by that double one shot. Damn, that was a really high chance to miss there. Right, let's uh, let's go for this attack. Come on, we can win this. Oh, bubble! Guys, that was a clear win. That was pretty good. Right, we just need to be very careful of our base here. Uh, we don't want to put the Charmander down there. Um, who do we want to go for? Oh, damn, if only we could move him there, then we could cut off the uh, mashup. Mashup there. But alas, we cannot. Okay, let's just put the Rattata down in the corner there to defend. Okay, and let's move. Let's move toward this way. Actually, no, if we move toward that way, the squad is going to get wrecked. Okay, let's put the Bulbasaur in the way. Right, come on, we can win this one. Bulbasaur actually has a huge chance to miss, looking at that. Oh, it's not enough. That Pikachu, man, is too OP. He's too good at this game already. Right, let's move again to the... Uh, where should we go? To the right-hand side? Maybe seems like the best place to go. Try and get some sort of march going here. Really need to move this figurine to engage the Pikachu and come on. Can we win, guys? Can we win this one? Oh, Crush Claw for 90. Pretty good, guys. That's some pretty decent damage. Okay, what do we get up next? Right, is my. Am I going to get a little bit wrecked here? Oh, Tackle. That's some terrible damage, man. He, he ain't that good. He ain't that good. He's getting a bit, bit owned there. Right, can we actually move to win now? Are we, are we close to that? Can we, like, sneakily get a win here? Okay, th th are those two going to engage each other? I guess that's my move here, right? Is to attack in. And hopefully we get that 90 damage. Come on! If we can clench that 90. Swords Dance. Scratch 20. Wow, okay. Yeah, that, that worked. I really don't know what happened there. Not fully familiar with his abilities, but he's doing a stellar job so far of clutching this game for us. Could, could we have moved to win there? Okay, we've won. 
That was, guys, that was total fluke. That was probably the biggest fluke I've ever seen in my life. But, wow. There's, there's so much strategy in this game. There's so much to think about. So much you need to know. Uh, the I must look like a complete noob at the moment. I am a complete noob at the moment, guys. Like, I, I've only started playing this game about 20 minutes ago. But damn, I, I quite enjoyed that. That was really fun. That was really fun. A lot to think about in terms of positioning and stuff. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for the first impressions of Pokemon Duel and kind of the playthrough of the tutorial. So, I I really like it so far. It seems really, really cool. I love I love the game style. Like, the, the style of the figurines as well is so, so cool. And I feel like uh, for a lot of, like, Pokemon collectors, like... For a lot of people that play Pokemon, it was just all about collecting the Pokemon. That's why Pokemon Go was so popular. I feel like just, you know, playing this game and collecting the figurines, a lot of people are going to really, really enjoy that. So, ladies and gentlemen, are you enjoying Pokemon Jewel? Do you like the game? Is it your thing? Let me know in the comments below. Apart from that, guys, uh, thank you for watching the video. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.